What do we got in the works today? All right, so that's funny you say that because uh, this package is called the works. So it's our kind of just like our entry level polish package just to gloss, enhance the paint, gloss it up a bit, remove light swirls, um, just make it look overall a little bit better uh, at an affordable price. So it starts at $3.99. Um, this truck's gonna be $4.49. And uh, it's the whole thing, polish, wax, and sealant. Mini interior detail, full prep included. And for this vehicle, we're gonna be using a yellow pad. We're gonna be doing it outside. We couldn't get a bay inside because they're all full and busy. And they couldn't drop it off to our shop. So we're gonna do it here. And we're gonna use yellow roof pad with 3D speed. Um, our go-tos are usually Shine Supply All-in-One, 3D Speed, or Rupes uh, One. Either one of those three is pretty good, but since this is black paint and it's really hot today, or not really, really hot, but the paint feels really hot, um, we're gonna be using Speed because I feel like it's the easiest one to manage when, it, when, it, when, the, pan when the panels are hot. Now, you mentioned you weren't able to get a bay, no shop. What difficulties will doing this outside create? Um, well, when it's hot, you can't work in the product as much. So you can't get as much of like swirl removal. Um, the good thing is this package doesn't really focus on swirl removal too much. So we don't have to worry too much about that. We just want to improve the overall clarity and look of the paint. Okay, so what's the first step? Uh, probably gonna get to the top, knock out the roof first, and then knock out the hood. And then we'll probably move to the shaded side and knock out as much as we can from the shade. Then I got my light on me right here and we'll be able to inspect after each panel that we finish. And then depending on where the sun or the clouds go, we might get, we might be able to do this side or just flip the truck around and do the other side um, and try to get as much shade as possible just because it's really hot. And there's not really many trees out here, but it's a little bit cloudy and sunny today. So it's not too, too bad. It's probably like in the seventies. All right, man. And you mentioned something about a test spot. Yeah, so it's just, uh, basically I can go on the other side and do like a little panel and just see how this product and this pattern gonna work and see if those are the results I'm trying to get. You know what, Tony? It might be my untrained eye. But I don't see no swirls or... I can see them right there, but it's just, it doesn't look as uh, noticeable when the, when there's clouds. Oh, okay. And right here has a lot of haziness. Oh. Now, are we going for perfection? 80%, 50%? With these, I don't even offer a percentage. It's just an improvement. So mm. it could be 10%, 20%. It's usually like around, I'd say 40-ish, 50-ish percent. Um, it really depends on the type of paint. Um, but it's nothing really extreme. All right, Tony, you did the first test. How did it go? Pretty good, looks a lot better, a lot more glossier. Um, it still has like a lot of swirls in it, but we're not too concerned with getting it perfect. We just want a huge improvement and make it look a lot nicer for the dealership. Now, when you first started polishing, what was one of your early beginner mistakes or something that took you a while to really figure out? Um, what patterns to go, how much pressure to use, uh, what pads to use, what products to use. Dang, all that? Yeah, there's a lot that kind of goes into it, but you just gotta, every car is different, so you just kind of have to try different products out and see what works best for you. And what do you advise for new detailers who want to do this to make more money, but how are they gonna learn how to polish? Uh, they gotta buy at least like an entry level polish machine. And if and hope they can do their own car, and if they don't have their own car, they can do maybe their parents' cars or their friends' cars, family members' cars, and practice on theirs. You can probably if, if that doesn't work and nobody wants to offer you or let you use their car, then you can go to like the junkyard or something and then get a panel re-sprayed re and then um, practice on that. What was one of your early mistakes you made? You burned any paint? Yeah, my body shop days. Yeah. 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 But you gotta go through it. That's how you learn. Mm, yeah, just don't stay in a certain spot for too long that's basically why it burns because you're staying there for too long it's getting way too hot and especially like the corners uh and then that's when you're using like rotary machines uh this dual action you can still burn paint but it's not as um easy to burn it um uh, but yeah all right tony you're like two hours in what's left oh, i'm like three hours in almost four <laughs> dang uh, we just got to do finishing touches uh wipe down the inside and wipe down the wheels, tire dressing. I got Juan, he just pulled up a while ago. Um, so he's gonna help me knock this one out and then knock that one out because they pulled up and they wanted that one done as well. Um, but yeah, polishing's all done, sealing's done. It's just uh, finishing touches basically, windows and setting out, door jams. Now, staying on the polish topic, mm -hmm. how do you think the polish turned out? 
Any difficulties or y'all went smooth? It went pretty smooth, really good. Um, especially for it being out outdoors and being a dark color. Uh, went pretty good, because right now it's like super sunny. It's My face is probably red because it's on fire. And that was some polishing tips for you beginners out there. If you have any questions, make sure to drop them down below in the comments. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.